Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about material instances, what they are and how we can use them professionally. So without any further ado, let's begin. You know that I did create a playlist of videos about materials and in that we did talk about all of these inputs for our material and how we can access most of it, okay? But this time I, wa I wanted to show you word position in offset, but for showing you that in details, I need to explain to you what the material instance is please if you didn't watch my playlist of videos about materials just watch those you will learn a lot you remember from the video that we talk about opacity how we can use it we create this that you can see here it's like a laser beam for example right so let's just change the value of this to one for example and you can see it in here you can see when we change the values in here how it changed in here okay let's just change it back to 100 and now i want to talk about material instances you remember we create this material and we did call it m opacity for material opacity okay let's just go to content drawer in here and this is our m opacity right click on it and you can create a material instances okay just create one and it will call it m opacity ins okay for instances and that's a cool naming convention so let it be like that okay m opacity instance if you double click on it let's just dock it in here and you can see you don't have a lot of controls in here it's just a preview panel that will show your material and there are some property in here for example you can change the physical material you can change the parent of this for example this time this is m opacity that we create a material instance off of that okay so you can change the you can change the light mass setting material property or right and all of that okay now I'm, I'm gonna show you how you can expose the important parameters in here for example this one that we use for overriding this color for our emissive color okay or in here we have we had a texture coordinate that we tile over a texture sample like this 20 time for you and v okay and now i want to show you how you can expose all of these variables to our instance of this material okay so we did create a instance now let's just change the value of this for opacity right now it is one and we can change it in here to be 0.5 okay the, at that video what we have done we just connect this constant to here and we change the value of this to 0.5 right we want to expose this parameter to our instances in here so let's see how we can do that if you go to your palette in here there are a category that call parameters and there is a lot of parameters in there but i want to show you the most important one and you can see that the parameters have some node in here the two most important one that has shortcut as well is this scholar parameter and the vector parameter okay so if you hold s and hit left mouse button it will create a, a scholar parameter okay and you can name it whatever you want and for example this one i want to call it opacity okay because we want to set the opacity with it now we can just delete this and connect this one to here okay if you click on this parameter that we create in here that is a scholar parameter if we click we can change its values for example the parameter name the parameter name is important okay next one is the default value that this time i want to put it at 0.5 okay and it will give us exact result and if you want it to be at a slider you can put a minimum and maximum i don't want to do that you know how it works you can give it a description for example this is used for opacity of our material okay so you can see it will give us a description like this you can put it in a group and you can change the priority of this parameter okay so let's just not waste our time and save our material now if we go to our opacity instances in here now you can see there are parameter group and in this parameter group there is global scholar parameter values that you can change the opacity you remember we named this parameter scholar parameter to opacity and we have we have an access to it in this material instance and we can change the opacity of this like this okay so you can see i did change the opacity of that and it is faster to do to change values in instances as well okay you can change the values in here of course but changing them in here it will be faster okay so let's just again put it at 0.5 and let's just do it one more time for this texture coordinate at default we set 20 and 20 for u tiling and v tiling to tile over texture sample okay so for exposing the value of this to our instances we can use an scholar again hit s and hit 
left click button and it will create a scholar parameter for you and i want to call it tiling okay so at the default you know that we want it to be 20 and 20 so let's just put 20 for default value in here and no instead of hard coding this value let's just put one in here okay and use a multiply node in here right click and search for multiply okay and now we have this multiply let's just connect this to here and use our scholar parameter and connect this to uv node and it will be exactly like when you put 2024 u tiling and v tiling and you can see it works fine so if we save now and go to opacity instances in here no we have a parameter in here that is um, the name of it is tiling if you click on it we can edit it okay so for example let's just put um 10 in here and you can see it changed instantly okay so let's just again change its value and you can see how fast it's updating our preview panel okay and you can see it it's cool right so using instances is very much important for us and again we can use these instances on our object as well so let's just use these instances on this wall for example okay now that we have this instance on this wall let's just bring this here and open up our wall in here and now we can change the tiling in here and it will change in here as well okay so you can play with that until you reach what you want let's just change the opacity as well and you can see it's instantly applied in here so let's just play our game and you can see it's cool right it's better way of doing the material so always you should use material instances okay the next parameter that i want to talk about is vector parameter again if you go to your palette in parameters you can see there is vector parameter that has a shortcut as well so hit v on your keyboard and left click and it will create a vector parameter okay and with that you can have a vector parameter that is exposed on material instances and you can change some value in there okay now i want to call it vector you can see this vector parameters has some values in it for example r g b and alpha and all of them together like this right it can be used as a color but it can be used for x and y and z okay so first of all you can change the name of this whenever you want let's just clap and after that you can change the default value for all of these channels r g b and a next you can give it a description a group and its priority and next thing that is much important you can change the parameter customization okay so for example instead of r i want to tell it to show x and instead of g i want it to show why instead of b i want to show z and in here alpha for example okay and now you can see it's just showing x y z and a okay and we can use these vector parameters to show you what this word position offset is okay so it's exactly like the scholar parameter but it has it can have four value in it that we can use all of them together by just dragging from here and dropping okay and we again we can set a default value for x y z and alpha as well so let's just use this for example let's just change this r to um, or drive for example or drive let's just change the name of this like this so the this red channel node is over the right value and we want to use it instead of this 100 so let's just connect it to here and let's just give it a default value so like 100 and no it if we save our project it will be exposed for the, for us for us to change it in our material instances okay so let's just go to our instance and now you can see there is a vector in here and one of them that is important one is this overdrive value and we can change the value of that we can change the opacity of this like this 2.5 for example and we can change the tiling again like 20 so you can see it clearly and we can change the overdrive value like this okay and we can use this vector in a lot of ways to show you uh, what this word position offset is so in the next video i will talk about word position offset so please hit that sub subscribe button so you can see it first and please if you want to help me hit that like button as well thank you very much for watching bye